This is how I earned Master Reaper sailing solo on a galleon. If you've ever tried it, then you already know that navigating the seas by yourself on a galleon is extremely difficult. Between manning the helm, managing the sails, raising the anchor, and keeping up with repairs, it seems like there's no room left for combat. But what if your goal isn't combat? What if your goal is to earn your Emissary Ledger rewards without the hassle of PvP? Feast your eyes on the Solo Galleon, the biggest lie on the Sea of Thieves. Alright, so we're really trying to sell this lie to the entire server. So the first thing you're going to want to do is buy a Captained Galleon. A regular Galleon will not do. You need proper cosmetics to make the server think that you are a seasoned crew. Next, you're going to want to check your map table for any other Reapers that might be in the area. Avoid them at all costs, or just hop to a different server. Remember to keep your spyglass ready and keep your eye on the horizon for enemy ships. Now, it's time to start your voyage. I chose the Spanish forts scattered around the edge of the map. They have high visibility, which allows you to see enemy ships on the approach. And it only takes three forts to get your Reaper flag to grade five. Now that you're a grade five Reaper, the average player shouldn't want any smoke. So you should be good to get as much treasure as you want, right? Is that an uncaptained ship? Let's see if I can talk him down. Well, hi there, fellas. How y'all doing on this fine evening? Uh, no, sir. No, sir. That's my. That's. My, all right. Good talk. Galleon should have no problem outpacing the sloop as long as we maintain a tailwind or a crosswind. Let's take him to the roar.
Please invest in some harpoons, would you? No. <laughs>